through editing it and, and what I usually would do, I mean especially in the last film, is I'm going to make a film, I will find the soundtrack that I want to. Um, for this film, we went through after and we went through and found the music that we wanted to put to the film. Um, I couldn't have done it with that help. So, you know, he, he contributed to getting the music for the film. So that's why there's some old style music in there as well. But um, in general, you know, um, we, we had the script and then we shot it, we edited it together and then we found the music that went to it. Because we had to get the film done in a year because we got sh uh, sponsorship, um, it was very, very difficult. We went into production with just the script. <laughs> um, not, a good, not a good move. Production was six months and editing was roughly six months, so we had it probably now by January, the beginning of this year. We actually wrote to several people, um, including Banks, and said, would you be interested in sponsoring a short um, amateur film? And obviously a few rejected, and a couple of people said yes. Yeah, we, had, yeah, we had quite a large cast, um, about 20-ish people. Um, and then we only had probably a crew of five or six. Six at best. Um, so shooting was wasn't particularly easy, you know, with a small such a small crew, uh, crew and uh, a big cast. Uh, we shot on two cameras. Uh, we shot both on uh, 720. Um, we had a bit of a format war. Uh, we shot one. My, my camera is mini DV based, and my other camera operator, which was also he was on my, my DOP. He. Um, he shot on uh, XD cams. Yeah, there's been in quite a few film festivals, more than I can remember. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, that was a student film. I, we saw it uh, as part of my studies in New York Film Academy in 2000, uh, 2000. It finished in 2001. And I saw it uh, in 16mm, not super 16mm. And then we have to transfer to 35. And uh, it was a big uh, mess to do that because in Greece we didn't have the labs for that, but uh, we managed to do it by cutting the mask in the frame. And um, I'm very glad that <laughs> I like this film. I mean, after that, I, I did uh, many elaborate, more, more elaborate films in the way that I have all the technical equipment and maybe a better story uh, but uh, I did that by myself with uh, just uh, three people that were helping me uh, in New York in cold New York uh, in February of 2000 and I still recall the moments that uh, we didn't even have the lights so the actors were coming with the cars to light the scene and uh, I used the camera you saw this this uh, frame, this, uh, this uh, picture that didn't have net, uh, but uh, all overall, I think it worked a bit with the fantasy play of uh, the main character that uh, this Latin uh, girl played, Cristina Romero. I had to audition <laughs> for that film. Fifty, fifty uh, actresses came, and that's because uh, in New York it's so difficult for an actor to get a job that they can do it for free. She helped me for uh, 10 days, for free, uh, doing this illegal thing to, to travel in the subway, the metro. It was illegal. We, we got arrested two times. Yes, it was a big uh, problem to start in uh, the underground of New York. But she wanted the soul. So the aspiring actors, if there's anyone here, they just wanted the soul. They didn't want to pay to get paid. They wanted the soul to go on to something more professional maybe. And uh, it's very easy to find uh, good actors in New York. But actually I had another story before and uh, the actors didn't appear, didn't come. So I have to create a story, a new story in three days. The title came from an Oklahoma musical. It's a song, Give Me the Rose and the Glove. So when I saw it in the lab, in the post-production, I said, what am I going to do with this? It's all crap. And then I edited and uh, I found a story maybe in the editing room. So it was like uh, a composition, a composition uh, uh, editing in some way. Uh, I did a script, uh, I wrote the script again in the editing room. It was like a, an experimental film and this is, why not doing an experimental film? Sometimes it might be better than writing, uh, you know. 
I would like to make a comment about the music. Thank you very much for your words. Uh, Yoros and Panabolos Kazilakis is the adopted mm -hmm. son of Manos Kazilakis, one uh, of our most famous composers from Greece. And I'm very honored that he gave me the rights to use this very famous uh, song uh, from, it's called the Hamoyel of Chokonda, mm -hmm. the, first, uh, the first song, the, or the orchestral song.